Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve issues you might have with changing the default applications on Windows 10. So for anyone that might have upgraded to Windows 10, there could be issues with changing your default apps like a web browser. If you did select default applications, they might not be saving. So you might have already also run the system file checker and there's nothing wrong or corrupt with your computer. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing a potential workaround for you guys. So we're going to start by heading over to the Start button and right-clicking on it. And then we're going to left-click on Command Prompt Admin. If you receive a User Account Control window, select Yes. So at this point, you want to enter DISM, all capital letters, DISM. Then you want to do .exe space forward slash online and then another space forward slash cleanup one word and then a little minus sign image another space forward slash scan so capital S scan health then you want to do enter on your keyboard so just be patient here This will take a little bit of time to run, so once this command is done executing, I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. So the first command that ran took a little while to run, I have to admit, probably took a good 30 or 40 minutes. So we're going to now run another command after this one is completed. Well, just going over the results of the first one, we can see up here it says no component store corruption detected. The operation completed successfully. So now we're going to set up a new command here. I'm going to type in DISM, all capital letters, dot exe, space, forward slash online, another space, forward slash cleanup. Then you want to do a little subtraction sign, and then type in image, another space, forward slash restore health. Restore health should all be one word. And then you want to hit enter again on your keyboard. So this will run a second command here, and this will take a little bit of time as well. So just be patient, and once this is done running, I will be right back. Hello everyone, I'm back. So the second command finished executing, and it looks like the operation was a success. I would recommend restarting your computer and seeing if the issue has been resolved. Please keep in mind this actually did take a while. Um, I kind of lost track of time. I might have been actually making this video for a couple hours because I did step away for a while. So just keep that in mind. Let it run, do its thing, and hopefully your problem will be resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.